got them underneath so they can they like they suck. Gulf specimen is 50 years old this year, and <laughs> and it is perseverance, but it's also had a lot of help and mentors and people working along the way. But I want to make a special acknowledgement of someone who was here and helped me from the beginning. And that is Colin Fix, who is sitting right there. And in 1964, I came back from Madagascar on the Indian Ocean Expedition, having been booted out of Florida State University as a scared kid, coming back with a vision. This is what I wanted to do. And I talked to the Lewis State Bank and, and all those people have passed on, Clifton and George Lewis and Van and all of those people, and Colin. And Colin was there and I shared my vision with him and he helped me get started. And the fact seeing him here and Ann up here doing the flamenco dancing really gets to me. You know, it's been an interesting ride for half a century. Wasn't planned that way. 
I just had this idea that I wanted to collect specimens and learn marine biology and basically sell them to schools and other things and use that to the process of discovering the ocean and in the process of protecting the ocean. And then along the way, people joined in to help. So I want to I want to acknowledge some of the people. My biggest helpmate of all passed away two years ago, which was my wife Anne. And in 1980, she said, you know, this is more than a biological supply of shipping specimens. There are people that are continuously coming by. Even back in the early 60s when I was collecting specimens, going out on boats and bringing stuff back and sending it out to labs, people would say, hey, can I see what you're doing? Or teachers would say, can I bring my class? The next thing you know, we would have classes coming here and we had kids standing on one leg, hopping around with no bathrooms, you know, with a one little staller. And we said, we've got to go ahead and really move on. And so we became Gulf Specimen Marine Lab, which is a nonprofit tax exempt organization, which relies on your donations and patronage and all of that. And what do we do here? Yes, we've been involved in science and we have over 700 scientific publications that cite Gulf specimen as their source. We have developed drugs from the sea. One of them was just extraordinary, not only for cancer, but for Alzheimer's and it even reverses the stroke in mice. And we just recently went to Washington and I saw our specimens there from that time. And we get so I'm going to say thanks to thank you. Here's Steve. Let's do the next 50 years. We need your help to do that. Thank you. Wow.